Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss what to which plugins have system access or how to check plugins with system access. So let's write the query first. So add here first, I am going to write add here select a statement and inside select a statement, going to write add here login. Now here after, so here using name and uh, here after the next is comma and at this point next login tab going to use so login and your tab going to use closing by bracket and your tab desc type so add your tab id you can find tab name so going to use add your type D E S C. Now here after going to use comma separator and here after at this point going to write disable this ever going to write close bracket and here is so you can find is member is caller signed and here you can find is disable also D I S A D L E T. So is disable now is after so from which database so going to write from or uh, from master and you have to just write master dot so you can find uh, or sys here or uh, schema master sys here after press dot and here you can find server principal server underscore principal so add here you can find server principal press enter and here after the next is we are clause going to write so where clause is so here you can find sir s r p here s r p SRB so about this one SRB so add here built in function is is SRP and here role name and here login invert and that return integer value now here after so in single code going to write to this admin This admin close by bracket here after name. Now here after equal to one and here order by and you are going to write login. So this is the query to find out or to check login with this admin access. Now execute and check. So see at here login. So add here login desktop. So this is the PC name here Adam. So NT service SQL server ascent here. NT service SQL right here. NT service here win MGMT. And here this is the type login. And here you can find login type Windows Windows and here it's our disable value 0. Now here after you so this is at your its alias. So either you can give at your directly login. Okay, so no any. So this login and here this login are different. Execute and check. So see at your its login display. But at your if you remove this open and close and close bracket, so definitely at your I'm getting the error process because uh, you cannot. Uh, so if you're going to use alias. 
so at here it's considered as a column so my intention is to write to alias so for this we need, don't need to separate it must be in one part so see at here is the one part now if you add skill so here first uh, not select this all execute one more time so see at here login tab alerts it's a display now here you can also use disable so disable is the alias part so see at here disable it's a display so if i give add here the value in place of one going to give zero so let's see what happened so add here it's a displaying login tab sql login server door and here it's all a display like windows login server part so if you give at here zero so that means it's uh, displaying the all login tab at here so at your server security admin public it's all a display and here if you want to check uh, uh, this disable value so you can just paste it and here execute that so see at your disable value it's all a display here one one here after zero so this is the SQL login. So if you give out your assist admin name zero, so this is display and display all types of login at here. So or DC created disk admin, it's all display. So but if you give out here one, so it's uh, only display related to this admin here yeah, login. So this admin login, it's a display. So this is the important thing at here. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.